I'm John Sadler of Sadler Sports Insurance, and we're the endorsed insurance provider for Dixie Youth, Dixie Boys, and Dixie Softball. I'd like to take just a few minutes to provide some guidance on how you can lower your risk during the 2021 season. You can find out everything you need to know about insurance and risk management by going to our website at sadlersports.com. And when you get there, go to the association program section and you can see the links for Dixie Youth, Dixie Boys, and Dixie Softball. And for illustration purposes today, we're going to check out the Dixie Youth page. Notice you can scroll down and you can see the per team rates for the accident and the general liability, and also the rates for the directors and officers liability, crime and equipment. And then scroll up and check out the quick education section and notice the 11 reasons why the endorsed Dixie program blows away the competition, coverage descriptions for all five policies, and what you need to know before you apply for coverage. Also, you can scroll down to the bottom and you can find the special risk management content we have just for Dixie that has a number of important sections uh, such as uh, COVID-19 risk management, uh, child abuse, molestation risk management, and a number of other uh, important uh, articles and, and programs to protect you against injuries and lawsuits. And then when you're ready to apply for your coverage, you just scroll to the top and you click on the, the big red button. And within as little as uh, five to 10 minutes, you can be printing off your proof of coverage documents as well as your certificates for your field owners. As far as the 2021 changes go, you'll find that for the rates, all three programs, youth boys and softball, will have a 15% rate increase on the general liability and no rate change on the accident. And the blended average will fall somewhere halfway in between, probably around a 7% increase. As far as the coverage changes go, the sex abuse molestation, each occurrence limit will be reduced from 2 million to 1 million. And also the uh, carrier is going to add a, a new epidemic pandemic limited exclusion endorsement due to COVID. What you'll find out is that almost all sports insurance carriers in the industry are now adding uh, a COVID exclusion. But to be honest with you, I wouldn't be too worried about that, as I'll explain in just a minute. The number one risk management issue for 2021 will be COVID and the fear of being sued for a transmission incident. But what I can tell you is that Sadler and Company, we had a lot of clients that uh, participated in the 2020 season across numerous sports. Not a single one of them has been sued for a COVID transmission incident. As a matter of fact, I interviewed the two head claims managers for the two largest writers of sports insurance in this country, and neither has received a single lawsuit for a COVID transmission incident so far in 2020. Also, I can tell you that it would be almost impossible for anyone to prove under the law of negligence that a COVID transmission incident occurred at one of your practice or game events. And I can also tell you that there are a number of strong legal offenses you would have in the event of a lawsuit, including assumption of a known risk defense. As regards COVID risk management, there are three different techniques that you're going to want to implement, and you can find the details of all three of these on our website. The first is you're going to want to have a waiver and release with special COVID language inserted that's signed by uh, the youth participants and their parents and also by the adult participants. And remember, adults are much more susceptible to COVID than youth, so you're definitely going to want to get your adults to sign this as well. Also, you're going to want to have COVID warning signage uh, at your, your entry points and throughout your facility for your events. And you're also going to want to uh, implement a COVID risk management program and disseminate this to, to all of your staff and, and all of your, your parents and, and explain it to your players. And you can find this on our website as well. And also, I know that each one of the three Dixie organizations has its own COVID risk management plan that you should definitely follow. If you do all of these things, you will greatly reduce the risk of any COVID transmission liability incident. The biggest liability risk is sex abuse and molestation, or SAM. It's not COVID. 
Sam has absolutely killed the sports insurance industry with a number of devastating lawsuits. I can tell you that it's increasingly hard for us to get SAM coverage and everybody has to implement strict risk management controls as a precondition. The highest risk sports are the Olympic governing bodies where you have elite athletes that, that are traveling with coaches, but we're seeing an increasing number of lawsuits out of recreation-based programs such as Dixie. The expectations that the carriers have before they'll offer coverage for SAM is that obviously number one, run a criminal background check. Uh, and number two, you must comply with the new federal Safe Sport Act. The endorsed general liability policy includes a $1 million limit for SAM lawsuits, but coverage can be voided unless three things happen. Number one, you must run a criminal background check with acceptable results on all of your managers, coaches, and your other authorized adult participants in the league who have repetitive access and close contact with minor athletes. Number two, you must have written prevention policies and procedures in place. And that is also a requirement of the Federal Safe Sport Act. Number three, you must have written requirements in place to notify law enforcement immediately in the event of an incident. And that is also a requirement of the Federal Safe Sport Act. So how do you comply with these written requirements to have SAM coverage by your insurance carrier? Well, you're supposed to be doing this anyway. First of all, in your franchise document that you sign, all leagues agree to adopt and implement the child abuse risk management plans that have been published by Dixie Youth Boys in softball. If you adopt and implement these child abuse plans, you will automatically meet the insurance requirements. And furthermore, you do need to be able to prove that this document was distributed to all of your adults and that they've agreed, that they have reviewed uh, the plan, and that they will comply with it. Furthermore, once again, this will put you in compliance with the federal. Safe Sport Act. And in closing, we certainly hope that 2021 is a better year than 2020 for all of us. If you have any questions, please check out our website at sadlersports.com. And also, you can contact our highly trained staff as they will be eager to answer any questions or to assist in any way. Thank you.